the nice thing about the ePortfolio assignment is it took a different approach to how um, typical business courses are done. So like uh, a lot of business courses that I've taken at Laurier, uh, they'd give us uh, a textbook and we'd have to memorize kind of theory and like different procedures and then we'd be expected to kind of regurgitate it on exams and midterms and finals, which it's, it's all right, it, it gets the job done, but maybe like a term or two later you kind of forget what you've done. Whereas with the uh, ePortfolio, what happens is it kind of forces you to reflect on yourself, even though it's, it's quite painful at some times to kind of sit down and say, um, what have I done with my life or where am I going? Uh, I think the ePortfolio has really helped out with kind of making me look at myself. At first, because I've done business courses before, I was like, well, I've done pretty well on, you know, midterms and exams. My ability to kind of memorize and regurgitate is not too bad. Uh, um, so I was a little bit scared at first of the portfolio because I thought it was more kind of like uh, interpretational, I guess, uh, on how the uh, marker evaluator would see you. So if they didn't agree with some of your visions or beliefs, they might mark you less favorably. So I was a little worried about that at the beginning, um, but then once I found the ability to actually, I didn't know you could put in artifacts at the beginning, so like the ability to show uh, YouTube videos or pictures or songs or music, anything like that, it made it a lot easier to kind of communicate myself to the evaluator. The biggest challenge I think was learning how the software worked. So I've done like web page builder software before because I've tried to build my own websites a few times and they're fairly straightforward like where you can just add a new page, drag and drop, drag and drop. So it's um, a little more user friendly than the uh, D2L's ePortfolio. Uh, this one's a little, it kind of constricts you to uh, certain templates and themes that you can use. You can either have your links on the top or links on the side and you're not able to kind of freeform images and like resize them uh, when they're there. You can either use the original size or you can let ePortfolio decide. So when you use the original size, you kind of have to guess how big you want the image and it, it takes a lot of trial and error to actually make it work out. Definitely. Uh, I would never voluntarily evaluate myself uh, or kind of look at my strengths and weaknesses, but it's definitely really good to know what your strengths and weaknesses are 